Following a vegetarian diet may reduce the risk of heart disease, diabetes, and some cancers, but some vegetarian diets may rely on processed foods with too many calories and too much sugar, fat, and salt, which makes the whole thing a waste and in that case might even cause harm to your health. But first things first, let's get familiar with the main diets. Lacto-vegetarian diets exclude meat, fish, poultry, and eggs, as well as foods that contain them. Dairy products such as milk, cheese, yogurt, and butter are included. Ovo-vegetarian diets exclude meat, poultry, seafood, and dairy products, but allow eggs. Lacto-ovo-vegetarian diets exclude meat, fish, and poultry, but allow dairy products and eggs. Pescatarian diets exclude meat and poultry, dairy and eggs, but allow fish. Vegan diets exclude meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and dairy products, as well as foods that contain these products. When it comes to choosing one of the above, the key is to be aware of your nutritional needs so that you plan a diet that meets them. So, what are these nutritional needs? Calcium. Calcium helps build and maintain strong teeth and bones. Milk and dairy products are highest in calcium, so what can replace it? Dark green vegetables are good plant sources if you eat enough of them. Also turnip and collard greens, kale and broccoli are in the list. Your other options are the added calcium to some juices. Vitamin D. Vitamin D also plays an important role in bone health. Vitamin D is added to cow's milk, some brands of soy and rice milk, and some cereals and margarines. People who don't eat enough fortified foods and live like vampires with no sun exposure should talk with a healthcare provider about vitamin D supplements. Plant-derived vitamin D supplements are available. Vitamin B12 Vitamin B12 is necessary to produce red blood cells and prevent anemia. It is found almost exclusively in animal products, so it can be difficult to get enough of B12 on a vegan diet. I mean, you could still reconsider. It's important for vegans to consider vitamin supplements, vitamin enriched cereals, and fortified soy products. Protein. Protein helps keep skin, bones, muscles, and organs healthy. Eggs and dairy products are good sources. Eating a variety of plant-based foods throughout the day also can provide enough protein. Soy products and meat substitutes, legumes, lentils, nuts, seeds, and whole grains can be good choices. Omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are found in fish, canola oil, soy oil, walnuts, ground flaxseed, and soybeans. Vegetarian diets that do not include fish may be low in two types of omega-3 fatty acids, DHA and EPA. If you don't eat fish, consider adding fortified products to your diet. Iron. Iron is important to red blood cells. Dried beans and peas, lentils, enriched cereals, whole grain products, dark leafy green vegetables, and dried fruit are sources of iron. But the body doesn't absorb iron from plant sources as easily as animal sources. To help your body absorb it, eat foods rich in vitamin C at the same time of eating iron-containing foods. Vitamin C-rich foods are peppers, strawberries, citrus fruits, tomatoes, cabbage, and broccoli. Zinc. Zinc helps the body make proteins and grow cells. And also, it isn't easily absorbed from plant sources. Fish, crab, and shrimp for pescatarians. Cheese and yogurt are the sources if you eat dairy products. And as for plant sources, whole grains, soy products, lentils, beans, nuts, and wheat germ can be your choices. Iodine. Thyroid hormones are partly made of iodine, and they help control the body's metabolism and play an important role in muscle growth. Using iodized salt would do the trick. Seafood and dairy are also sources of iodine. Seaweed is a vegetarian option for dietary iodine. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye!